Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Carrier Scout is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for 22nd of March. Let's start. Who launched digital CCMS portal of NIA? CCMS. What is the CCMS? Criminal Case Management System. Right. This CCMS was recently launched. Correct. And it is a platform of NIA that is National Investigation Agency. Correct question asked is who launched this CCMS platform? It was launched by Amit Shah, our Home Minister. Right here you can see this CCMS that is Criminal Case Management System designed by NIA that is of National Investigation Agency launched by our Home Minister Amit Shah. Apart from this, Amit Shah also launched a mobile application that is Sanklan, a compendium of national new criminal laws by National Criminal Records Bureau. Then he also inaugurated two new branches of NIA in Jammu and Kochi, Kerala. Correct. Apart from this, if we talk about CCMS, this CCMS that is your criminal case management system, this enables NIA personals to better coordinate in terrorism and organized crime cases. The new standalone version of CCMS has been developed as a user friendly and easy to deploy customizable browser based software to aid state police forces enhancing their investigation and prosecution and so on. Next, next is how many heritage sites from Madhya Pradesh were included in UNESCO's tentative list. So six sites from Madhya Pradesh or six heritage sites of Madhya Pradesh were included in UNESCO's tentative list, right? That is the tentative list of world heritage 
साइड सो सिक्स साइड्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट विच आर दो सिक्स साइड्स ग्वालियर फोर्ट खोनी भंडारा भोजेश्वर महादेव टेम्पल द रॉक आर्ट साइट्स ऑफ चंबल वैली हिस्टोरिक असेंबल्स और असेंबल ऑफ धमनार एंड गॉन मोन्यूमेंट्स गॉन मोन्यूमेंट्स ऑफ रामनगर दीज आर द सिक्स साइट्स दैट हैज बिन टेंटेटिवली एडेड टू द यूनेस्कोज वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट्स लिस्ट राइट एंड द हेरिटेज साइट्स इज द इन द टेंटेटिव लिस्ट विल बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर नॉमिनेशन टू द यूनेस्कोज वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज लिस्ट and as of 21st of march india has 57 sites in unesco's tentative list of heritage sites if we talk about unesco who is the director general here audre osle headquarter is in paris france and it was established in 1945 next india's first integrated oil palm processing unit began operations in which state so india's first integrated oil palm processing unit began operations in arunachal pradesh began operations in arunachal pradesh right let me show you here on 6th of march 3f oil palm private limited they started their commercial operations of india's first integrated oil palm processing unit at roing that is in lower dibang valley of arunachal pradesh right directly remember this that india's first integrated oil palm processing unit began their operations where in arunachal pradesh this project aligns with the mission palm oil correct that is to lead india to the path of self sufficiency in the edible oils next india's first indoor athletic center was opened in which state so odisha's chief minister navin patnayak has opened india's first indoor athletics center not just this here remember he has also launched or laid the foundation stone for indoor diving center for swimming pool indoor diving center right it was a swimming pool let me show you here navin patnayak chief minister of odisha has inaugurated india's first indoor athletic center and state of the art indoor aquatic hub at kalinga stadium in bhuneshwar odisha right take a note of this apart from this this particular center will be developed for 120 crore rupees and this will help the athletes to train and compete around the year without any external weather disturbance then this facility has provisions of residential accommodation also and if we talk about the indoor diving center this will feature a temperature controlled diving pool of 25 meters and if we are talking about kalinga stadium right this first indoor athletic center where this will be this will be in bhuneshwar odisha and in bhuneshwar odisha also it will be at the kalinga stadium right at kalinga stadium this kalinga stadium india's largest indoor athletic stadium right it is a multi purpose sports complex that is in bhuneshwar odisha now friends recently your sbi clerk main exam was held we have collected some stats over it and let me show you why i say that affairs cloud is one of the best top solution for current affairs for the first shift and second shift there were 46 and 43 questions collected respectively for 25th of feb here we will be seeing that 41 questions and 38 questions respectively were covered by us in our course that we provide you 27 and 23 questions respectively were covered in the application quiz that i ask you to do on daily basis in your mobile application then 22 and 19 questions were from the pocket pdf that is provided to you in our course and 17 and 17 questions respectively were from the monthly exam pdf that we do and also from the video of monthly and weekly that we are doing on youtube channel so that is the reason i say that we are the one stop solution for general awareness and current affairs that helps you in your preparation for the in depth questions that are deeply asked 19 questions and 24 questions were respectively covered for in depth questions and number of in depth covers were 15 and 21 respectively then the total covered in our applications were 9 and 10 so that is the reason i ask you that you should definitely take our course because they will be very beneficial in your preparation on daily basis we provide you daily scoop pdf daily current affair quiz daily current affair and question and answer speed quiz right apart from this pdf we also teach you on youtube channel that is very beneficial in your learning for revision perspective also similarly for weekly top 60 quiz 
CA content in PDF and weekly overall question and answer PDF is also provided to you. And similarly for monthly also top 100 question and answer PDF is provided to you in our mobile application. Monthly current affairs pocket PDF, monthly current affairs study PDF exam, exam PDF and various banking and economy related questions PDF is also provided on monthly basis on our application. And for that you have to look at our course that we just mentioned. If we look at some of the month wise stats like on monthly basis what are the questions that were asked and we have covered those questions. So the total number of questions were 38 and 35 respectively for 25th of Feb for shift 1 and shift 2 and here we can see that for Feb month of 24 2 questions and 4 questions were asked from the Jan month 16 and 18 questions respectively were asked from December 5 and 2 questions were asked and for September to November we saw that 8 and 5 questions were asked respectively and from Jan to August 2023 that is for the last year we saw 7 and 6 questions were covered and let me tell you friends all these questions were covered by us either on our mobile application or on our youtube channel where we provide you a detailed analysis of all the questions all the content that is happening all around the world not just this if we focus on static banking and gk stats the total question asked were eight and eight respectively for first and second shift static banking question asked were five and seven static banking question answers that were covered by us were five and six respectively just a question short for the second shift but we'll make sure to cover that in next time static gk question asked were three and one respectively and static gk questions for the first shift were covered all but for the second shift a question was left but i make sure to cover that question also the next time and so that there is nothing left when you are attempting your exam i make sure that all my students who study and who watch my videos who are taking these courses who are studying from these pdfs should not leave a stone unturned and they should attempt all the questions that are being asked in your exam next is epbl what is this epbl not epbl apbl that is aided atel payments bank limited so atel payment bank limited they in partnership with which organization launched atel payments bank smart watch so atel payment bank limited they partnered with noise and mastercard right and with them they have together launched a smart watch for contactless payment this smart watch will be equipped with nfc feature nfc is your near field communication technology and it will be powered by mastercard right noise is a competitor to that of a boat right we know boat company correct very famous electronics brand so similarly noise is also a very famous electronics brand correct and upon linking the smartwatch with your atel payments bank account a customer can make a payment of up to from 1 rupees to 25000 rupees in a day using a point of sale machines correct if we talk about abp apbl atel payments bank limited who is the managing director and chief executive officer Anubrata Bishwas, headquarters is in New Delhi. Next, next is which country signed $23.27 million LOC agreement with Exim Bank for aircraft procurement? It is Guyana, right? Guyana, they have signed $23.27 million line of credit LOC, correct? And it was with whom? It was with Exim Bank, that is Export and Import Bank of India, and it is for the procurement of aircraft which aircraft that aircraft will be two dornier aircraft dornier aircraft right these are the surveillance aircrafts correct take a note of this important and these dornier aircraft they aircraft they will be developed by hindustan aeronautics limited moving on <coughs> who received pv narsimha rao memorial award for philanthropy so Ratan Tata, right? Ratan Tata has received the PV Narsimha Rao Memorial Award for philanthropy recently. The award presentation took place where location is important, Mumbai, Maharashtra. And remember, this is important because we know Ratan Tata, he is a philanthropic person and his philanthropic initiative has covered diverse sectors such as health, education, rural development, environment, sustainability and so on. And now even in Assam, he is aiming to develop the first semiconductor plant of no manufacture semiconductor manufacturing plant in the northeast India. Right. And two will be in Gujarat. So coming back, if we talk about who received PV Narsimha Rao Memorial Award for Philanthropy, Ratan Tata ji. Moving on, CP Radhakrishnan took the additional charge as the governor of Telangana and lieutenant governor of Puducherry. Why lieutenant governor? Because Puducherry is a union territory, right? So Jharkhand governor CP Radhakrishnan took additional charge as the governor of Telangana and he was administered the oath of office by Alok Arade, Chief Justice of High Court of Telangana in the presence of Chief Minister A. Revant Reddy in ceremony held at Raj Bhavan in and uh, Hyderabad, Telangana. So coming back, you can see here, CP Radhakrishnan took the additional charge as the governor of 
तेलंगाना एंड लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ पुडुचेरी राइट नेक्स्ट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंडिया टेस्टेड इंडिजीनियसली मेड 1500 हंड्रेड हॉर्स पावर इंजन ऑफ एम बी टी एट बी ई एम एल माइसूर वॉट इज एम बी टी एम बी टी इज योर मेन बैटल टैंक एम बी टी इज योर मेन बैटल टैंक सो इंडिया रिसेंटली टेस्टेड द इंडिजीनियसली मेड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड हॉर्स पावर इंजन ऑफ अ मेन बैटल टैंक इट वॉज टेस्टेड एट बी ई एम एल लिमिटेड Right, and this B E M L, this the headquarter of this B E M L is in Mysore. Where is Mysore, Karnataka? Then this fifteen hundred engine or fifteen hundred horsepower engine. This is a symbol of revolution in military's propulsion technology, right? And apart from this, remember, with this, the engine will also enhance the power of Arjun Mark One A tanks. Then this engine of this main battle tank, it has a capacity or we can say this is a cutting edge technology that can even operate in extreme weather such as at minus 40 degree celsius or at 55 degree celsius in deserts next china they have launched q u e q i a o q q o right this is the relay satellite from earth for earth moon communication right so cnsa that is the china's national space administration they have launched a Using Long March Eight rocket that was carrying Kukia Two. This is a relay satellite designed to provide Earth Moon communication services. Right. So question can be asked: What is the name of the satellite that will be providing communication from between Earth and Moon? That is of China. It is Kukia Two. It was launched using Long March Eight rocket. Next, apart from this, remember the rocket also carried Tiandu. Tiandu One and Tiandu Two. these are the two miniature satellites to conduct the test for the construction of a constellation of data relay and navigation satellites right these are the two miniature satellites that was also launched along with qkia 2 that is a relay satellite next uk successfully tested the first laser weapon dragon fire as you can see this dragon fire this is a laser weapon correct it can aim at a particular coin even after long distance right so minister of defense of uk they have successfully tested the first ever laser directed energy weapon that was named dragon fire right and this is used to take down the drones enemy drones right enemy aircrafts correct that are in the region you don't want them to be if we talk about dragon fire dragon fire is led by dstl that is defense science and technology laboratory on the behalf of uk's ministry of defense right and dragon fire significantly reduces the reliance on expensive ammunition each remember firing the laser for 10 second here cost just 1000 rupees right i repeat 10 second of firing of this laser cost approximately almost 1000 rupees and this dragon fire will enhance the air defense capabilities for both the army and the navy of uk next cmfri they have launched Marlin at the rate of CMFRI application to help citizen science initiative in marine fisheries research i repeat ICAR Indian Council of Agriculture Research Arm Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute they have developed an android application that is Marlin at the rate of CMFRI and it is to encourage the citizen science initiatives in the marine fisheries research the app was developed under the project by Eldhau Vargis at the Fisheries Resource Assessment Economic and Extension Division of CMFRI and this Marlin here stands for Marine Fisheries Machine Learning Routine of Indian Exclusive Economic Zone Next next is Obutri Frans De Waal right a Dutch American primatologist and author recently passed away I repeat a renowned Dutch American primatologist ethologist and an author Frans De Waal who founded the origins of morality in apes recently passed away at the age of 75 in georgia usa next oscar winning british screenwriter david sedler recently passed away i repeat oscar winning british screenwriter david sedler passed away at the age of 86 in new zealand he was born in 1937 in london uk and in 2021 he won the academy award that is oscar for best original screenplay for the film the king's speech next is important day is world day of theater for children and young people observed on 12th of march and it is to draw the public's attention to the art of theater for children and young people and highlight the importance and impact of theater 
for young people in communities right next world sparrow day observed on 20th of march and it is to raise awareness about the importance of sparrows or house sparrows for biodiversity and the ecosystem and promote actions to protect and conserve them right world sparrow day then there is a theme you need to remember for the world sparrow day that is i love sparrows i love sparrows next international day for the elimination of racial discrimination observed on 21st of march and it is to create awareness about the challenges that are faced by people of african descent the day also offers a platform to promote global culture of tolerance equality and anti discrimination then this is the theme that you need to remember here theme being a decade of recognition justice and development implementation of the international decade for people of african descent so friends these are your important current affairs for the day now let's go for a quick one liner revision union minister amit shah launched digital ccms platform of nia and sankalan app of ncrb six madhya pradesh heritage sites included into the unesco tentative list india's first integrated oil palm processing unit began operation in arunachal pradesh odisha's chief minister navin patnaik has opened india's first indoor athletic center in bhuvneshwar in kalinga stadium then atel payments bank limited in partnership with noise and mastercard launched atel payments bank smartwatch gaina they have signed a 23.27 million dollar loc line of credit agreement with exim bank for aircraft procurement two aircraft that are the donier 228 will be procured here then ratan tata received the pv narsimha rao memorial award for philanthropy cp radhakrishnan took additional charge as the governor of telangana and lg of puducherry India tested indigenously made 1500 horsepower engine of main battle tank at BEML Mysore Karnataka then China has launched QQiao2 this is a relay satellite for earth moon communication UK successfully tested the first laser weapon called dragon fire and 10 second firing of this laser will cost almost 1000 rupees then CFRI launched a mobile app uh, android mobile app marlin at the rate of cmfri right this cmfri is an arm of ic mr and it helps citizens to science initiatives in marine fisheries research then france de wall a dutch american recently passed away oscar winning british screenwriter david sidler passed away world day of theater for children and young people on 20th of march world sparrow day on 20th of march and international day for the elimination of racial discrimination on 21st of march so these are your important current affairs for the day friends do like the video and comment below if you find the session interesting now let's move to some revision part that will be very beneficial for your learning where was the event for the world's biggest textile event held this biggest textile event is known as bharat tex right and we have discussed many times that bharat tex 24 was inaugurated by whom it was inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi now the question asked is about the location that where was this event that is the world's biggest textile event bharat tex held so it was held at bharat mandapam where is bharat mandapam bharat mandapam is at pragati maidan that is in new delhi correct this is first venue second venue remember yasho bhumi right yasho bhumi so these are the two venues that you need to remember but the first and important one is bharat mandapam and second is yasho bhumi these are the two india's largest exhibition center where the event for this bharat tex took place then this bharat tex what is this as the name suggests tex it is a textile event right in order to grow india's textile sector in order to bring more development in the textile sector to set up more industries to set up more manufacturing plants to come up with new technologies that will be helping the textile sector to grow this event was held then this bharat tex was inspired by prime minister narendra modi's 5f vision this 5f is farm to fiber to factory to fashion to foreign right i let me show you farm to fiber to factory to fashion to foreign and this is based on this is 5f vision of prime minister next next is ministry of rural development partnered with which organization to empower self help groups under lakhpati didi yojana so it is ease my trip ease my trip and ministry of rural development they have partnered to organize or to basically help self help groups that comes under lakhpati didi yojana as the name suggest lakhpati didi yojana under this scheme the aim here is to give or aim is to help women's achieve 1 lakh rupees 
ऑफ इनकम एनुअली राइट वन लैख रुपीज ऑफ इनकम एनुअली दिस इज द मेन एम फॉर द लखपति दीदी स्कीम एंड हेयर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड ईज माई ट्रिप दे विल बी कमिंग टूगेदर एंड हेल्पिंग द सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स एंड द वीमेंस इन दोज सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स टू अचीव द टारगेट ऑफ अर्निंग वन लैख रुपीज पर ईयर नेक्स्ट द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ ब्लू टॉक्स मीटिंग हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली वॉज को पार्टनर्ड बाय होम सो द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ ब्लू टॉक्स मीटिंग हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली वॉज को पार्टनर्ड बाय इट वॉज को पार्टनर्ड बाय सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिमेंबर दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ ब्लू टॉक्स राइट दिस मीटिंग वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली एंड द मीटिंग वॉज होस्टेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्थ साइंस and was co-chaired by embassy of france and embassy of costa rica so all of these together hosted this first edition of blue talks right take a note of this then the matter of or we can say the theme of this meeting was ocean health and governance it was ocean health and governance correct more than 50 participants took part in this particular next is who launched credit assistance program for jan aushadi kendras so mansukh mandviya our union minister mansukh mandviya for ministry of chemicals and fertilizers has launched this assistance program for jan aushadi kendras correct and they have inaugurated this credit assistance program this is for sidbi correct for jan aushadi kendras and the event for this was held at new delhi what is the aim of this credit assistance schemes right for jan aushadi kendras to grow right to flourish they need some investment right so they will be requiring some amount of money so that they can grow for this this credit assistance will be provided by which bank partnered with ease my trip to launch co branded travel credit card so it is punjab national bank and ease my trip right these are the two organization bank correct so they have partner together to launch a co branded travel credit card that will be named as pnb emt credit card correct this is a co branded travel uh, credit card that will be very beneficial for travel correct and this card is available for an annual membership fee of 2000 rupees and can be globally accessed across 100 countries if we talk about pnb Atul Kumar Goel is the chairman and uh, is the managing director and CEO headquarters is in New Delhi 1894 this was established if we talk about is my trip Nishant Pitti is the co-founder and CEO and it was founded in 2008 and headquarters is in New Delhi next is which force holds the largest share of women personnel among CPF what is CPF CPF stands for central paramilitary forces right so which force holds the largest share of women personnel among the central paramilitary forces in india it is railway protection force rpf railway Pro protection force that was established in 1957 that was established under the ministry of railways right and they have the largest share of women personnel among the central paramilitary forces in india and rpf they holds about 9% of the women share among the central paramilitary forces in india correct then there are multiple operations launched by railway protection force we can go through them such as your meri saheli initiative operation maitri shakti operation ahad that was against the human trafficking right and operation nanne fariste operation dignity these are some of the four operations launched by railway protection force next which bank offers light saving account with lifetime zero balance future not future feature right so which is that bank it is bank of baroda they have launched a lifetime zero balance saving account that will be called bob light saving account and this account will offer a lifetime free rupee platinum credit card or debit card for the customers who maintain a nominal quarterly average balance right here the quarterly average balance will be for 300 rupees or 3000 rupees for metro or urban areas 2000 rupees for semi urban areas and 1000 rupees for rural branches 
then if we talk about bank of baroda who is the managing director and chief executive officer here devadath chand headquarter of bank of baroda is in gujarat and it was established in 1908 if we talk about rbl bank then remember rbl bank md and ceo is r subramanyam kumar headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra one thing you need to remember about rbl card is that rbl card has offered go saving account with zero balance feature right next is india's first underwater metro is located where important question friends where is india's first underwater metro located so india's first underwater metro is in kolkata kolkata west bengal if it is asked it is an underwater metro then it is under which river so it is under hogli river right and it spans over 16.6 km in length and where is it it is in kolkata west bengal india's first underwater metro next is mospi that is your minister or uh, union minister or your ministry of statistics and program implementation they have signed a memorandum of understanding with which organization to facilitate urban frame survey and digital mode urban frame survey in digital mode if we talk about this urban frame survey first of all what is this this urban frame survey this is conducted once in every 5 years right and it is to basically talk about the frame of compact urban geographical units right and this helps to define the clear cut boundaries here right this ufs will provide a map and in that map are you are drawn using the boundaries like of blocks wards towns on satellite pictures right so uh, every 5 years this surveys done so that accurate data on the maps can be represented so remember it is ministry of statistics and program implementation that signed an mou with which organization so they signed an mou with isro's arm that is nrsc nrsc stands for national remote sensing center right and this comes under isro only and they signed this mou in order to facilitate urban frame survey in digital mode and this survey is conducted once every 5 years and it is to give accurate data about the boundaries about the of the blocks of the units of towns so that that uh, satellite data can be projected first is what is dadr that has been increased for the central government employees da and dr da is your drns allowance and dr is your dns relief this is given to basically pensioners and da is for drns allowance for the coming one so if we talk about da remember that it has been increased by 4% recently and now the currently the da for the central government employees is 50% right take next is our homework section recently national commission for women signed an mou with which security force to control human trafficking Second, what is the rank of India in the World Happiness Report 2024? Third, state of global climate report recently seen in news is related is released by which organization? Fourth, who has been appointed as the ambassador of India to Russia? And fifth, Valmiki Tiger Reserve recently seen in news is located in which state? So these are your five homework question, and I need to see maximum participation from all the students. That's all for the day friends I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas Ten, you will be getting an additional extra ten percent discount by using this code Vikas Ten. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is nine six double seven double three three eight six two. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud dot com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue. 